All right. My issue um, with recording here was I had a uh, end stop plugged in incorrectly, so I lost communication with the board. Um, but we resolved that. I'm going to finish up some setup here. So basically, we started our config file a little bit already. Uh, we're checking the temps. Just kind of step one is make sure those um, read correctly after you did the config file. That'll check if it's the right sensor and the right pins. Um, and then for those, all those things that are missing right there, that tells you if you go over to the uh, Voron website here, it'll give you a little guidance. So when you copy and paste that main cell config, it includes a ton of that stuff that's missing from the file. So we're just going to paste it in here in the conf printer config. And then we're going to hit the save and restart. Once this loads back up, we're not getting any more error messages. Um, just a brief run out. That's uh, kind of what it looks like here for the main sale. These are your uh, default speeds there. And again, buff. Just if you follow the Voron documentation pretty well, um, you shouldn't have too many issues. But again, this was my first time and there was some stuff that wasn't exactly clear to me. We verified uh, temperatures here. You can see right there those controls are yellow. Um, so they're basically inoperable when they're yellow because you have to do a homing uh, sequence. So we're going to want to check the end stops after we check all our temps first. And basically, you just hit the, whether you got the hall effect or the micro switch, you can just click it. So on your gantry there, where that end stop pod is, you can check to your X and Y. No problem. And then I had clicky probe. So I just magnetic attached it manually. Um, and then click the probe. Uh, it's showing triggered right now because I don't think it was on in this video. And then my Z is open um, because that one, uh, I think that's because I had it unplugged at this moment. Yeah, so you have to hit the, that little refresh button while you check it. So you can push on your Z and stop pin, and it should show triggered and not triggered. Uh, I definitely recommend cutting the little slot in the pin like they show in the revised manual, um, because I had issues later on that the nozzle would have a little bit of filament on it and yank the pin out of the, the actual end stop. There was one moment in here where it kind of got freaked out and didn't show correctly, um, which I'm not sure what really caused that, but a restart of everything uh, did fix it. So now we got the, we're gonna check that probe right there. So if it's not a clicky, you need to use a piece of metal um, and wave it in front of the probe there. You want to make sure you get triggered and not triggered correctly.
when I took this video, I was kind of doing back and forth with the printer and the computer kind of on the other side of the room there almost. So you will see I kind of have some split things here. But yeah, this is where I had that yellow wire for that end stop in the wrong pin and it kind of threw me for a loop because I lost communication and all kinds of other issues uh, that weren't working properly. Um, so just triple check your end stops are plugged in the right hole, the fans, the thermistors, the motors are pretty straightforward. Um, if they're in the wrong slot, you're not going to have uh, I think too much of an issue. It's just either going to not work or probably go the wrong direction. Um, which we'll get to that here in a little bit further. This probe here in this picture, the PL08, is no longer um, supported for revision 2, 2.4. So I had a camera uh, behind me here set up on the printer. And I was kind of just watching um, the screen and trying to hit the refresh button and then get ready to go through the rest of the preliminary checks here. You can see I left all these belts quite long um the kit i bought the pow g kit from ally um came with like five meters of belts so i actually it's too much length so i actually put it in half and then cut each piece in half um and then made sure all four belts there had the same exact length uh to the teeth i laid it kind of on a banister um, and measured those out um, and I just left these long for a while to have everything sorted um, and then I left about 10 millimeters or so and kind of zip tied it back um, because you don't want to cut it flush because if you have to take it apart I don't know if you'll be able to get it back together again because you have to pull kind of quite a bit so I'm just bouncing back uh, and forth here a little bit in this video um, this bottom plate there as well didn't take very long for it to warp uh, I got it from uh, West 3D and um, I went ahead and printed some panel clips that go in that bottom extrusion um, to hold it from warping um, and it seemed to help pretty good I got it on the, the github I can share that um, if you guys want but uh, the edges there by the belt were almost sagged you know a quarter half inch by I don't know my fifth print or so um, while I was dialing in first layer of adhesion and all that all right so if you look at this left front motor here I am starting to do motor testing um, so stepper buzz which is also in that documentation on the Voron website um, you can see they're going down then up so you want to make sure that Z01234 matches the documentation in the manual, so they're in the right spot. Um, and you're going to see they all kind of move the same, same way here. Um, this is where the config from Spider and then config off of Voron website was slightly different. Um, so you want to make sure that these are the right the right spot operates first and then they move like that it's like 10 millimeters um, each time one direction and the other but the correct direction for the Z's um, I believe were up then down not down then up um, so then we had to go into that config file again and add the um, exclamation point or take it away whichever the opposite of what is stored in that file and then redo it and then the same thing is going to go kind of for the AB 
Um, I don't have a picture of it, but on the Voron documentation, there will be pictures with some um, several pictures with arrows, and you're going to have to do um, stepper buzz of the AB motors there. Uh, and then they'll probably be right. Um, but if you ever watch Nero, Nero 3D printing uh, videos, um, like he says, uh, you're going to want to home it and check which way the head goes. Um, tool head, so I would put the tool head in the middle manually um, and then go to home it and watch which direction it goes. Um, it's probably going to go the wrong way every time, so he just flicks the switch off, which I did too, actually. Um, and you learned that I learned that you can't do one at the like do one and then change it you have to actually see exactly which way it goes in total um, if you just follow the documentation um, because it's a core XY you can't like change one of them you have to change both settings kind of you know and they're pretty related to each other um, so I did it the wrong way first and I crashed the tool head into the back and then I had a panic switch it off because it was like skipping the belt um, but once I realized that um, I think I just had to change the directions um, for the AB and then also same thing stepper buzz the extruder make sure it works um, and then you're going to want to put a piece of filament in there heat your nozzle up um, try to push some through the head and uh, I did it all without the tube on at first uh, you're gonna mine was also direction was backwards so it was going up instead of feeding the filament down through the nozzle um, so that's another thing but direction changes in the config were not an issue um, at all really so there's just gonna be some more going on here Alright, we're going to see kind of the after effect of me trying to get ready to uh, home this thing, uh, the tool head motors. So I have a mouse, wireless mouse in my hand, I'm trying to click it and check the directions. So I did uh, the home, uh, it's obviously not supposed to go that way. And I tried to click the stop button, and it didn't stop through Clipper, so I hit the switch here. So when it goes left like that, that's the wrong direction. You want it to go um, to the right all the way, and then to the rear all the way, and then down. Um, it's it's going to be the correct operation. Um, so when you follow the pictures, it's pretty easy. It'll tell you which way to inverse direction or sometimes you might have to switch the motor plugs if you were connected in the wrong way.